Hello, welcome to our second lesson. In our first lesson, we learned the, the basics of PowerPoint, uh, Microsoft Office PowerPoint. Today, in this lesson, we are actually creating our first project and our first series of slides in Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, this is it. When you create a new project, the first screen you actually seen is the, um, the, the design that you chose or the template that you chose. And whenever a template comes, it comes with a, a title page or the first page that actually comes is the title page. So here we have our first page, which is the title page, um, the title page. So to select um, the design that we want, we'll click on the design tab. And then the designs will load so that we can choose the design that we want to uh, present our our um, our slides on. So we have these these designs. There are a lot of designs that you can choose from. Okay. Now there are a lot of designs, and there is the title page. Now any design that you choose for the title page is going to continue. That when you um, you create other slides, it's going to present you with the same slide or the same design. So Whatever design that I choose, I'm going to see see it in my slides. So imagine, or I, I choose this design. Okay, when I whenever I add another slide to it, and the shortcut for adding another slide is to click under the the first slide, and then right click on it. Make sure that, uh, an orange line is selected at the bottom. Then you can click on create new slide. So we are going to create a new slide below the first slide. Then you will see the, the rest of the designs, how it's going to look. Because the first one is the title page. Okay. So, when you, when you right-click below it, then you can go to new slide. So it's when you select a new slide, a new slide will come, and here it will present you with here it will present you with another slide that is telling you to click to add title, and then here you can use to create other things. Now you can also choose the design how it should appear. Okay. All right. You can also add different designs to it okay so this is the design session so when we go to the variant the variant is actually going to show us the type of or the differences or uh, yeah the differences in colors of the slide the actual uh, design you have chosen so here you can see that we have orange we have green though the actual one we chose was red so we can actually select a new one from the variant session or we can also choose our colors for it our customized colors so after choosing the slide you also have the uh, after choosing the design you also have the edge to customize it to your own colors okay so here you can go through other color versions to also change to maybe you don't want the red the actual one is the is the red but you, here you can also add your own colors color variant so that's why we call it the variant session so it's going to apply to all of them for you you can actually also choose your customized colors so you can come to customize color then you choose which co uh, color you want to choose so you come to custom you choose your color text background so the colors are like this the colors are arranged here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 colors will come for you to. Now when you come to, let's cancel it and look at something here. When you come here on the colors, you can see that it is not only one color. There are um, sessions of colors, okay, series of colors. And these colors, each of the colors um, is used for a particular item on the design. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight colors in a row, and with each each of the colors, each of the colors mean something different, or it is used to design something. Goes with an, um, a new element on 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 the design. So once you also choose to 
customize the colors you have you also need to follow that to choose the kind of colors you want so here i'm going to choose uh, crazy colors i'm just adding the colors to see then when we we click on use or save when we save it we will know how our colors are going to appear on the design so here we are customizing the colors we are choosing our own color variant all right now when we click on save it's going to add to it and this is what we've got this is the color that we chose and you can see that our color has come um, has joined the the designs okay our colors has joined the designs all right this is the color we chose and it has joined the design so when we click here and come to colors they have been added to they have been added to the colors and that is custom one the name we gave was custom one okay so you can see now we can add our colors to it okay all right let me so this is the title page let's let's choose the original color so that you can have control over it now this is the original page which is the title page so at this point this is where you add the title of the slides you are going to choose so now here when i click on it i have the edge to also change it so let's say i, I want to add my title to it what's the title of the product, uh, project i'm creating it's an introduction to um introduction to powerpoint and this is where i, I will create my title then i will just go and say maybe there's a lesson two then i'll create lesson two here okay so there's a subtitle and there's the main title now just just as um um microsoft office word this also has kind of um some some element of word so here you can also edit the title when you select all of them you have the control over it you can make it bold italic you can underline it okay you can give it a shadow text shadow and once you are select you select it you can format it you can also change it to uppercase or change it to so now you have you have the control over it you can also change the color text color and how you want it to appear now you can also edit it choose all right So you can also edit it to the to the to your own customs. Yes. So this is the, this is the opening page, and once you have it, you can. So imagine you are, you want to create a presentation about of about ten pages. The first page is actually going to be the title page. Now you can also come to the insert tab. When you come to the insert tab, the other things that you can insert like equations and other things but this is the title page so we are going to another page where we can have um, different items on it so when we click on insert we go to um now since we've created since we've created a title page the next page is supposed to be something different like if you are creating for a, a course or a lesson it's going to be the objective um, page like you want to train people or you're training teaching for teaching purposes you, you are able to create the title of the, the the assignment or the work then the next page is going to be the objective page so we are going to create a new page now when we come to the insert tab then the first at the beginning we have new slides um tab you can click on it to drop it down and you can select how you want your next slide to be whether title slide title and content section header Anything or even blank so that you can add your own things on it you can also duplicate the same slide by clicking on the and the duplicate selected slide okay so here we are going to create a title and content page so we click on this one and now it will be added so here you can add your new title and once you come to the the other page you have options to choose from whether tables whether charts um, whether smart smart art graphics whether image or videos pictures 
and everything. We have videos here that we have I icon also there. So imagine you want to set picture at this at this place. You click on add picture, then you can go through to add your to add your picture. So. So I'll just look for something and put it there. So let me just put something like this. Then I'll click on insert and then automatically it will come there. Okay. Alright, so this is how we create a uh, multiple slides. So we have slide one and we have slide two. Okay. Now the distance or the the transition between this one and this one. Is, is done by uh, the transitions tab now when we go to the transitions tab there are a lot of transitions there that we can choose from and the transition is the um, level or the space or the link between two things so how two things should interact so we have a morph and once you click on it it's going to appear to you how it is going to transit okay we have push so this one will push and then the next one will come okay we also have wipe and then we have a lot of transitions so once i click on this and then i have to edit it how it's supposed to be whether on mouse click or after some minutes so on if on mouse click that means that when i want to go to the next slide i have to click on it or click on the keyboard and then it will take me to the next slide so i will say let me apply to all when i click on apply to all it's going to affect all the slides that i've i've created one transition will affect to will affect all the uh, the slides that are created okay so let me click on apply to all and now let me play it and see how it's going to uh, how it's going to be like and to play it i'm going to go to the um start from the beginning or the slideshow button uh, tab and then click on from beginning okay now i have this now when i click on mouse the next page will also come because we set it to be a mouse or mouse click or when we click on the navigation tabs on the keyboard it's also going to be the same okay okay now we can click on escape to exit them all right we can also click um, insert audios and video into it so let me insert audio and audio on my pc i'll select any any sound and now when I, I i bring you to the the page i can also edit it have, we also have control over it so i can go to maybe play across slides then it will affect all the slides that i've created then i can loop it when the sound stops i can rewind after playing or i can and then i can hide during the show so this is very important so you need to hide it else this everything here will appear but when you click on hide when you are playing it it will not come okay now i can also select how we should start playing whether it should be in click sequence or when i click on it, it should come or it should start automatically so i will choose start automatically okay then now let me play and see The sound is actually playing now at this point i can also trim the sound to a specific point okay so when i click on trim audio i can select where i want to start from by dragging this one and when i drag this one to this place it means that all this everything here will not play the sound will start from this place that is from 50 seconds above from 50 seconds going and i can also trim back and then i can only have this so when i click on the play to play it in between this from here to here now you see that it started from 50. okay so this means that this place and that place will not play right. okay so now let's play it and see we go to the slideshow and then play from the beginning
Now because we set it to play across slides, you saw that it was playing even though it was on the next, we added it to this slide, slide but because we set it to play across slide, it was also, um, it was also playing on the next slide too. So that is play across slide. All right. Aside this, we also have animations. An animation simply shows how the element should behave. Okay. So now if I select introduction to PowerPoint, that is the title. I can also control it how it should behave, how it should appear. Okay. So I have lots of lots of animations here on how it should appear. So you select how your animation should appear. Okay. Alright, so this is the animation sessions and this is what it also does. Now you can do a lot of things on it. Alright. Now after you, you have, even though you have designed it, you can also choose another design for it, which is going to take up the same um, kind of element that you have. Okay. So you can also change it uh, even though you have finished. Over here. You can also insert word art. Okay, and where that are custom designs, which are which you can also add your text. So they are already designed. So the only thing you need to do is to write your text. Okay, and it will take up the same formatting that has been done for you. <coughs> so that is where that you can also insert shapes. Okay, <coughs> we have shapes and lots of shapes for you to choose from. Now, start, when I started graphic designing, I used PowerPoint and it was cool. I used PowerPoint a lot for graphics. Hmm. You can also insert chart. Okay. Now, let me go to another page and then use chart and then we can probably, it's going to be our, our last um, work. So, so, let me insert chart for you to also see. So, you can click on chart and now the chart will come how you want it to appear okay you have control over how you want the chart to appear <coughs> okay okay whichever um, chart you want you can also uh, I think yeah, we, we also have pie chart and other things how you want you want them to appear so let's choose pie chart okay now when we choose pie chart it, it will present us with the data that we want to um, use so it's going to bring us pie chart so those of us who can who will use this for mathematics this is what is going to be done so now it will present us with a chart okay now it's going to present us with the chart and now it's like um, um, an excel chart so whatever we put in will be affected here so you can see that we have first quarter second quarter third quarter and then fourth quarter and they are all labeled here so in the first quarter imagine i change the values to um i change the values to 80. remember the second quarter um 66 we have now it should be up to 360 23 okay so we have the um the chart here and whatever you you add to it it will come here so after you can then close the chart and then your 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 pie chart will be will be lab, will be there. Okay. You can also split them up how you want them to also appear. You can also split them up. Okay. Give them spaces and anything. Alright. So that's the power of PowerPoint. Alright. So is if you want to talk about this one, you can actually select this one and talk about it. Then, if you want to talk about 
other thing, you can also select it and talk about it. So this is PowerPoint and it's very nice. Okay. So you can also change it. Even though you have selected a pie chart, you can also change it. Change chart, yes. Now you can also change it and it will affect the same um resource. Okay. Yes, and the levels, anything we added it also will also be kept intact. Alright. You can also change the colors, you know. PowerPoint gives you color variants. You can also change them how you want it to appear and other things. Okay. So these are a lot of things that you can you can you can create in PowerPoint. Okay. So since I so let's play it and see. So let's go to the slideshow from the beginning. Now our song will play. Microsoft Office PowerPoint and um, this is a short lesson on it and this is actually our, our second and then the last lesson on PowerPoint we are going to move to another um, office suite element and then probably if there is anything that I want you to know about PowerPoint I will also still come and then update you thank you for today's lesson and we will continue our lesson and we are going to have our first assignment after this so we are going to have our first ass assignment so Thank you for the now um before i forget let me add something we know how to, we can save it but we can also export it as a pdf okay you can also have, uh, export as pdf by going to the file tab and then the options is there save as pd adobe pdf or you can click on export if you don't have adobe acrobat you can click on export then select um, create pdf document we can also create a video out of it okay so whichever we want to create the options are there for you to also create so thank you for the lesson and we have our first assignment thank you